Okay, so we have got some more problems on uh, identities, that is algebraic identities. And in fact, it is part four of the video series on algebraic identities. Now, in this problem, you have to verify that x cubed plus y cubed is equal to x plus y multiplied by x squared plus y squared minus xy. And then x cubed minus y cubed is equal to x minus y multiplied by x squared plus y squared plus xy. Now, when you move to higher grades, then these two identities, in fact, these are algebraic identities. You will use them frequently in solving problems, especially when you will prepare for comparative examinations. You have, there you will use this, these algebraic identities, okay? Let's verify it first of all. So it's x cubed plus y cubed. And according to this, uh, equation it has to be equal to x plus y multiplied by x squared plus y squared minus xy. Let's take the right hand side of this equation. Right hand side. So right hand side is x plus y and multiplied by x squared plus y squared minus xy. Okay. Now using a distributive property of multiplication over addition. So take this x and then it's x squared plus y squared minus xy and take this plus sign, take this y and then x squared plus y squared minus xy. The distributive property of multiplication or addition, it becomes x cubed plus xy squared minus x squared y plus yx squared plus y cubed minus x y squared from here you get x cubed now if you look properly this is x y squared and this this is plus x y squared and this is minus x y squared so this gets cancelled plus and minus becomes zero same it's minus x squared y and it's plus y x squared now y x squared means what it's actually equal to x squared y how 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 3 multiplied by 2 is equal to 6, right? So this also gets cancelled. Plus and minus equals to 0. So you have x cubed plus y cubed, right? So you have x cubed plus y cubed. That is, this is left hand side. So yes, it is correct. This, we have verified it that RHS is equal to LHS. Okay. Now in the next case, it's quite exactly similar to what we have done here. When you will use a multiplication, a distributive property of multiplication, then this becomes, let's take this RHS, you have x multiplied by x squared plus y squared plus xy and minus y multiplied by x squared plus y squared plus xy. Right? Distributive property of multiplication or subtraction because here you have minus sign. Now this becomes x cubed plus xy squared plus x squared y minus yx squared minus y cubed and minus xy squared. Now this xy squared and this minus xy squared gets cancelled x squared y and minus y x squared remember y x squared is equal to x squared y only so this also gets cancelled and you have x cubed minus y cubed that is equal to left hand side that is right hand side is equal to left hand side verified okay now one important discussion i said that when you will move to higher grades then you'll use these identities very frequently and in fact in your competitive exams so how to remember it right uh, the easiest way is we all know that x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed is equal to x plus y plus z and let's take a plus b plus c that cube in that way it will be easy otherwise this is also x and that is also a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed minus 3abc is equal to 
a plus b plus c multiplied by a squared plus b squared plus c squared minus a b minus b c minus c a right okay now we have x cube plus y cube let's say that it is a cube plus b cube basically you don't have to uh, you know look for variables variables can be different here you can have r cube plus s cube plus t cube here you can have uh, x cube plus y cube plus z cube here you can have e cube plus f cube plus g cube variables don't matter what matters is that this pattern like it should be cube plus cube plus cube and then minus three that three times uh, the three variables the thing is that if you take this one here you have c as zero in this case you have only a cube plus b cube your c cube is missing so in that case your c is missing right so c is actually what zero your c is actually what zero okay so if c is zero what's a here a is x right x cubed what's b b is y cubed very good what's c here we don't have c here because it's that's missing so it will so it will be zero plus zero What's 3abc since c is 0 that's why this will be also 0 equal to now here you have a plus b means what x plus y okay our c is 0 that's why this will be 0 and then you have a is x so x squared b is y so y squared c is 0 therefore 0 minus ab means xy bc means y multiplied by 0 that is 0 c a means 0 multiplied by x that is 0 so if you look at this one it's actually x cubed plus y cubed is equal to x plus y multiplied by x squared plus y squared minus x y right it's a way to remember this one that is we have learned this identity we know this identity again this identity, if, if you have remembered like this, x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed minus 3xyz is equal to so on and so forth, no problem. The point is, variables don't matter, the pattern matters, right? So you can clearly see that you can remember in this way that if you know this identity, the only thing you have to do is that put this c is equal to zero and rest, you can calculate this identity. Okay, now what about this one? In that, in this case, the only difference is that either if you remember this one then you can very quickly tell the answer how simply take y in this case put y is equal to minus y because here we have minus y cubed right it's basically of the form for, you can derive from here only it's from here only. it's x cubed so x cubed now if our y is minus it means that it's of the form minus y whole cubed right so this is basically what x cubed minus y cubed because y multiplied by minus y is y squared y squared multiplied by minus y is minus y multiplied by minus y multiplied by minus y sorry multiplied by minus y sorry too many mistakes minus y multiplied by minus y multiplied by minus y is equal to minus y cubed that's what we have here right it means that our y is actually what minus y so in this expression put minus y wherever you have y so this is x minus y then you have x squared minus y whole squared means y squared only because minus y multiplied by minus y is y squared and here you, now you have minus but minus x multiplied by minus y x multiplied by minus y means minus x y so if this is minus x y and you have already minus sign here this becomes plus x y right so this is a way to derive this one from this identity if you remember this one only and if you don't remember this one then simply put your again same c is equal to zero but in this case take b as minus y for this one this identity okay so it's like very easy to remember this one once uh, you learn these identities and you will use uh, you know in your problems in your practice then you will not forget them okay
Now here you have uh, factorized each of the following. Now clearly, this is 27y cubed plus 125z cubed. It's actually, uh, you can use only this one. Okay, using these two identities, you can solve these two problems, right? So it's 27y cubed. So this is 3y whole cubed because 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 is 27. Y multiplied by Y multiplied by Y is Y cubed plus this is 5 Z cubed, right? 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 is 125 and Z multiplied by Z multiplied by Z is Z cubed. So it's of the form what? A cubed plus B cubed now. What we have seen here, it's of the form A cubed plus B cubed is equal to A plus B multiplied by A square plus B square minus AB. That's what you will use here. So this will become this will become 3y plus 5z multiplied by 3y whole squared plus 5z whole squared minus 3y 5z. Right? So from here you get 3y plus 5z plus 5z and this becomes 9y squared plus 25z squared minus 15yz. So these are, it's written here, you have to factorize. So now using the identity, you have actually factorized this polynomial into its two factors. One is 3y plus 5z and another one is 9y squared plus 25z squared minus 15yz. Now, if you say that you don't remember this identity, that this one, so that's simple. You remember this one, x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed minus 3xyz is equal to x plus y plus z multiplied by x squared plus y squared minus sorry, plus z squared minus xy minus yz and minus zx. You remember this one? So at the place of x cubed, put 3y cubed, sorry, x at the place of x put 3y. So this is 3y cubed. At the place of y put this 125z, uh, 5z. So this becomes 5z whole cubed. And at the place of z, you don't have the third uh, cubic number here. So that simply put it zero. So as you put it zero, and as we discussed here, you can derive this answer for this one, right? In the second one, this is simple. Uh, this is four M whole cubed. Four multiplied by four multiplied by four is 64 and M multiplied by M multiplied by M is N cubed minus, this is uh, seven M n whole cubed. 7 multiplied by 7 is 49 and 49 multiplied by 7 is 343. So this is 4n cubed minus 7n cubed. It's of the form x cubed minus y cubed. And this will be equal to x cubed minus y cubed is equal to x, uh, x minus y plus x squared plus y squared plus xy. Right? We saw here. So simply put at the place of x put 4m cubed at y cubed it will be 7n cubed and this is 4m minus 7n multiplied by 4m whole squared plus 79 7n whole squared plus 4m multiplied by 7n okay the rest of the calculation i leave it i leave for you so just calculate this answer as we did for this one and you'll get your answer now here you have factorized 27x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed minus 9xyz okay this is 27x cubed so this is 3 multiplied by x whole cubed how huh? 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27. x times x is x squared multiplied by x is x cubed. And this is y cubed plus 
z cubed minus 3 3x y z right 9xyz means minus 3 multiplied by 3x that is this term multiplied by y that is this term multiplied by z that is this term now it's of the form a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed minus 3abc equal to a plus b plus c multiplied by a squared plus b squared plus c squared minus ab minus bc and minus ca right now a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3abc 3x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3 multiplied by 3x y z now this has to be equal to this has to be equal to i'm writing it here taking help of this one so a plus b plus c means 3x plus y plus z multiplied by 3x whole squared plus y squared plus z squared minus ab means 3xy bc means yz and minus ca means z multiplied by 3x that is 3xz right so from here you get 3x plus y plus z multiplied by 9x squared plus y squared plus z squared minus 3xy minus yz minus 3xz. These are the two factors of this polynomial and it was of the form this one. Remember all the identities and these calculations, these factorization problems will be a piece of cake for you. Here you have x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz. You have to verify that it is actually equal to half multiplied by x plus y plus z multiplied by x minus y whole square plus y minus z square plus z minus x whole square. Now, till now, we have seen this formula, right? We have seen this formula. Now here it's exactly that one but now the right hand side if you look at this right hand side it's different from what we have here and that's what we have to verify so let's begin from this uh, right hand side so what's our right hand side our right hand side is half multiplied by x plus y plus z then you have x minus y whole squared means what it's actually of the form x squared minus 2xy plus y squared then this plus sign y minus z whole squared means what y squared minus 2yz plus z squared then this plus sign here z minus x whole squared means z squared minus 2xz or 2zx whatever you want to write then plus x squared okay now from here, this is half x plus y plus z and you have x squared and x squared. So this is 2x squared. You have y squared and y squared. This is 2y squared. You have z squared plus z squared means 2z squared and then you have minus 2xy minus 2yz and this is minus 2xz we can write it as 2zx you can even write 2xz also but it's like you know like a rhythm 2xy yz zx right okay now next is you have in this particular ex expression you have two here, you have two here, you have two here, you have two here, two, two. That is, in all these terms, two is common. So if you take two out, this becomes half multiplied by x plus y plus z, right? Take this two out. So this is multiplied by two multiplied by x squared plus y squared plus 
z squared minus xy minus yz and minus zx okay now you have 1 by 2 multiplied by 2 so this 2 by 2 means 1 so this gets cancelled now you have x plus y plus z multiplied by x squared plus y squared plus z squared minus xy minus yz minus zx okay applying distributive property of multiplication or addition so this is x multiplied by x squared plus sorry we can we have actually reached here so basically if you want then you can apply the distributive property of multiplication or addition but we know that it's actually we know the identity that x plus y plus z multiplied by x squared plus y squared plus z squared minus xy minus yz minus zx is actually equal to this x cube plus y cube plus z cube this is the identity that we have learned x cube plus y cube plus z cubed minus 3xyz is actually equal to this the right hand side of this one is actually equal to this one because we have we know this identity so hence yes this is correct this side lhs is equal to right hand side 